A U.S. military veteran accused of putting a man in a fatal chokehold aboard a New York City subway pleaded not guilty today to revise charges. 24-year-old Daniel Penny is facing counts of second-degree manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. He's accused of placing 30-year-old Jordan Neely in a chokehold for more than three minutes. Neely lost consciousness and was pronounced dead at a hospital later. Penny has said that he was protecting himself and others from Neely, who he accused was shouting that he was going to kill someone and said that he was ready to die or go to jail. Neely's family and supporters have said that he struggled with mental illness and homelessness, and his need for help was met with violence. He killed the man. He took a life. And for everyone who thought donating $3 million would somehow make this go away or buy his pass, it's not going to happen. It didn't work. You can ask for a refund. All the evidence that we've seen so far and all the evidence we expect to see shows that, he, uh, that, that Danny acted reasonably under very difficult circumstances in a confined, confined environment that none of us would ever want to find ourselves in. Penny was initially arrested on the manslaughter charge in May, but a grand jury earlier this month added the negligent homicide count. That potentially gives the jury an option of finding him guilty of a lesser charge.